What's going on everyone, my name's Tenebris Infinite, and this here is one of the most powerful cowboy builds in Far Cry 6. This started out as a joke idea, but it's surprisingly fun and incredibly multi-purpose, balancing a great amount of stealth and combat benefits that synergize really well, like steady hands and auto-locking throwables. A 2 times benefit to damage on most of your guns, and the Triador and Lavarita as the Resolver and Supremo Wombo combo. This outfit is built off of the Vaquero set, which you can pick up for free by connecting your Amazon Prime gaming account to the game. Then, the chess piece is from the Jungle Expedition set, and lastly, the Dark Tech gloves are from the base game. For our loadout, we're using El Caballero Blanco, the revolver that you get with the pack. The main thing is, is the mods that we have attached though. We have the uh, soft target rounds, we have the gut wrencher, as well as the trigger discipline, just to kind of try to improve the damage as much as possible for our revolver. Outside of that, we're also using the 308 carbine with armor piercing rounds and a headshot mod that rewards us with bonus supremo charge for every headshot. Then we're using the 1887 sawn off. Uh, with buckshot rounds, as well as a mod that improves our aimed weapon damage. And then lastly, we're using the Lavarita. For the tree door mods, again, all thinking about synergy, we have the throwing axes and the throwing knives to work with the dark tech gloves, as well as the syringes to give us some extra healing along the way, the reduced movement noise to work with the Vaquero boots, allowing us to be pretty stealthy during the daytime, and then that bonus headshot supremo charge, so that that way we can work with the 308 carbine to get headshots and unlock our supremo way faster than usual. Now, let's just show off how much extra Supremo Charge we get here. We charge up, like, almost about a fifth of the Supremo Charge. So if you can land five headshots in a row, you have a fresh new Supremo right away. Which might be a bit to ask for considering the fact that I don't have any scopes equipped to any of these weapons in order to stick to the cowboy theme. But if you're using this loadout, you could totally pop scopes onto everything in order to get those headshots a lot easier. The whole idea of the revolver is to turn it into just a deadly soft point pistol, where you can shoot people in the body, in the head, it doesn't really matter. You'll be able to take them down as long as they're wearing soft target armor. You could also flip it out for uh, armor piercing rounds, but I think it's always good to have something to cover up soft target enemies. Now, you do suffer worse damage when you aren't aiming down sights because you don't get that two times uh, damage boost. But still, as long as you're aiming down sights, you can put down most enemies with this revolver. Then you can use the 1887 to kind of float in between both the 308 and the revolver. It's just got generally good stopping power and killing power. It takes a couple shots sometimes because it's not the strongest of the shotguns, but it aesthetically matches the whole Wild West theme. And that's what matters. And then lastly, we got the Lavarita, because we got the Lavarita. Actually, a little bit more thought went into it, though. So, if we take a look at the rifle that we get with the Vaquero pack, we can see that not only is it the exact same rifle as the Verita, but it's actually outclassed by the Verita in terms of its uh, damage, its accuracy, and its handling. Sure, it has higher velocity and stealth, but that doesn't quite beat the synergy of the Verita and the Triador Supremo, where you can headshot enemies through walls without them even knowing that you're there. Basically, the Verita is Julia's last stand, but better. And even without the Supremo activated, the Lavarita has more than enough killing power. A little on the contrary of what I was saying earlier, but if you do customize your 308 to be a stealth weapon, it combines very well with the Supremo, and you get some very interesting stealth play out of this build due to the auto-locking throwable weapons too. Be careful here. You'll pay for this coming, <laughs> Now, this whole loadout and outfit setup is really easy to obtain very early on in the game. 
None of the weapons are difficult to obtain, and it's crazy how early you can pick up the Lavarita. The only thing that requires a little bit of grinding for is the mods used on both the Supremo and the weapons, as well as the Dark Tech gloves. Uh, those require you to be at player rank 6 uh, in order to buy them. Uh, other than that, you need to grind RNG off of Libertad crates. You can pick up most of these weapons from Juan's Arm Stealers at around like rank 2 and rank 3, so you can get them very early on in the game. The revolver is given to you for free with the Prime Pack, and the Lavarita, you need to follow the Triada Blessings questline, but again, you get that questline very early on in the game on the first island. So there we go, my second build video for Far Cry 6. My first one being the Maximum Mobility build. Check that out in the end cards after the video if you haven't yet. I have tons of other builds planned and a lot of other Far Cry 6 content too, so stay tuned for more if you'd like to. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Until then, peace.